The first episode plunges us back into J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth and across vast lands and seas reveals the peaceful time of the Second Age. Yet Galadriel, commander of the Elves' northern armies, refuses to accept that the world has healed from the centuries of war with the evil Morgoth and the Orcs. Mourning a deep loss, she knows that the forces of evil have not been vanquished and defies the direct order of the Elven High King Gilgalad to continue the fight. Hey guys, what's up? How's your day going today? Kiriakos is a great fan of uh, the Lord of the Rings. This is my cute uh, Greek uh, friend. We were super excited after we made uh, the video about the first part of Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings. By the way, uh, in our previous uh, video, when the, um, the TV show was about mm -hmm. to start, yeah. I said that it's a sequel, yeah, but no, it's a actually, it's a prequel, prequel, prequel yes, yeah. because prequel is about what happened before, before and sequel is about what happened after. Yeah, my bad, guys, my bad. Uh, sorry, got confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, yes. So, the prequel is going on. We love the story, uh, we love the way it's done, we enjoy watching. A lot of people were asked, telling me that the vocabulary is quite yeah. difficult. Today, Kriakos and I are going to help you uh, to at least to start watching it and uh, be more familiar to understand easier what's going on in uh, the movie. So, we have the episode one today. Without further delay we're gonna start so enjoy and let's have fun together we meet the little girl in the future we will find out that she is the great warrior yes the one who's gonna stand against uh, Saur. the darkness of the water is vast and irresistible Vast uh, is deep, is big, let's say, yes, it's, it's massive, huge. it's huge. Yes. Vast, level B2, extremely big, you can also say, enormous, huge. A vast audience watched the broadcast. And irresistible? That you cannot do without it, that you have to go for, I don't know how to... <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, know yeah, yeah. So we have the word resistible. resist. Yes. It's uh, to... Go against, go against yes, yes, we can yes. stand against. And irresistible, we have this the prefix uh, IR that is the opposite yes. one, right to the word irresistible. Irresistible. Level C2. Impossible to refuse, oppose, or avoid because it is too pleasant, attractive, or strong. She gave me one of those irresistible smiles and I just had to agree. The ship feels the darkness as well, striving moment by moment to master her and pull her under. Striving moment by moment, strive, it is also the level C2, is yes. to try very hard. hard. It's in the list of uh, irregular verbs, uh, strive, strove, striven. Mm -hmm. But the ship has a secret, for unlike the stone, her gaze is not downward but up. Her gaze. Mm -hmm. So the ship in English uh, language, it's she. It's a she. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not it. Yeah. Like uh, it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's always a she. Gaze, it's. What is this? It's, it's the a, look, no? Yes, Where the look. look. But why he, he doesn't say her look, but her gaze? But the it's gaze supposed is to be like the little difference. Where yes? your focus is gaze. Gaze. Level C2. A long look usually of a particular kind, or from a particular point of view. As I looked out, my gaze fell on a small child by the road. But sometimes, the lights shine just as brightly reflected in the water as they do in the sky. How to understand that the light reflects uh, in the water? Reflects. Like you can see the, that it bounces from the water, let's say, and the sky. Bounces? Reflect. Level B2. If a surface reflects light, heat, sound, or an image, it sends it back and doesn't absorb it. It's hard to say which way is up and which way is down. How am I to know which lights to follow? Why um, she doesn't say the usual question for us, 
how do I know mm -hmm. or how would I know? This is the yeah. way that I don't really hear a lot yeah. from oh, non-native speakers. Because maybe yeah. they don't know how to use it. That's why. So, what is the meaning? What is the difference? Uh, it, I think like that is like you want to say how I'm supposed to know which life. Okay, to follow. okay. While how if you am say, I supposed do I know? to know? Yeah. M is the form mm -hmm. of to be. Yes. Yeah. So the uh, this is actually an expression, mm -hmm. uh, grammatical expression. We can say like that. Uh, we are using this when you talk about something that is arranged in the future. Yeah. Where am I to go, for example, ah, okay, yes? yes. Uh, but if it's arranged that you're going to go somewhere, then uh, when you give an order mm -hmm. to someone, you are to come you at 3 o'clock, ah, yeah, yeah. then uh, used to say or ask what someone should do or what should happen. Ah. This is actually uh, the meaning that is used yes. in our movie, yes? So how am I to know? So how do would I know what should happen yeah. yeah and used to ask how something can, can be, be done. done but that seems so simple the most important truths often are but you must learn to discern them for yourself I won't always be here to speak them to you you must learn to do what with that truth to discover them for yourself okay so discern discover to, to see recognize understand something that is not yeah. clear yeah we can say discover okay distinguish mm -hmm. uh, recognize his orcs had spread under the command of his most devoted servant a cruel and cunning sorcerer she calls uh, sauron a cruel and cunning, cunning. sorcerer sorcerer we already know from yes. lord of the rings that is a wizard yes. okay Cruel. This is the one who. Mm. Cruel. Eh? How you would translate that? The one who doesn't have like mercy. Brutal. Yes. Yes. Like brutal. He doesn't say, like. have any mercy. He can kill without even yeah. blink of an eye. Okay. And cunning. That's the interesting yeah, word. Yeah. Cunning. It's ruthless or uh, like it's tricky. I don't remember. Yes. Uh, cunning people are clever at planning mm -hmm. something so that they get what they want, especially by tricking other people. Yeah, you were, you were right, yeah? Okay, for some particular purpose. Also level C2, um, not an easy word to explain, yeah? Unfortunately, her brother dies yes. in this war. Marked his flesh with a symbol. One whose meaning even our wisest could not discern. Again, they were discerned, yes? yes. To recognize, to discover, mm, to see, to understand the meaning. More and more of our kind began to believe that Sauron was but a memory. How to understand this part? Sauron so was but a memory. That he was only a memory. Yes! That's great, 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 great. So, you see, the but can be conjunction, can be preposition, yeah. adverb, pronoun, and even a noun. So, as an adverb, but is used in the meaning of only. Yeah. And the threat at last was ended. At last, Fi uh, finally, 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 yes, in the end, yeah. finally. So this is also an expression. It happens after you have been Absolutely. hoping, waiting, working for it for a long time. Whoever left it could be long dead. Or lying in wait, gathering strength, perfecting whatever dark art eluded him here. Eluded him here. Yeah. Dark art is yeah, like dark magic, let's say. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, but da dark art eluded, eluded uh, him like, here. Like uh, brought him here. Elude. Escape from someone or something, especially by tricking them. He eluded his pursuers by escaping into a river. If something that you want eludes you, you fail to find or achieve it. She took the exam again, but again success eluded her. I promise you there is not a soul amongst our company who yearns for home more than I. Who yeah. yearns for home. It's a nice word. Yeah. I heard it from the songs. Uh, there is one, my one of my favorite ballads from Poets of Fall, mm -hmm. and uh, they sing when when my heart don't walk away when my heart is yearning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost cried. These <laughs> lyrics. Don't walk 
To wish very strongly, mm -hmm. especially for something that you cannot yes, have, yes, that okay. you, uh, yeah, very difficult for you to have. Here is the synonym, you see, to loan for something. Yeah. Loan exactly has the meaning of missing. Missing. But yearn is more it's deeper. than, yeah, it's deeper. <laughs> it's when you, you miss uh, something that you cannot have, something like that. And until we are certain, Every trace of our enemy is vanquished. I can never return. So every trace, it means uh, all the tracks, yeah. all the steps uh, that we can find them, okay? So we understand the meaning. So every trace is vanquished. Vanquish. To defeat an enemy or opponent, especially in war. You can also say, conquer, defeat, thrash, beat. We are getting to know other people, yes, yeah. in the stories. Who are these creatures? <laughs> Do you know? If you know, guys, please write in the comments. Come on, rattle your dags. Let's just get to the lake before sundown. Rattle your dags. That's yeah. definitely an idiom. Yeah. Interesting one. Yeah. What, is, what are you asking him to do? Come on, rattle your dags. I'm not sure how I would uh, translate, like, get your shit together and go. Like, okay, as well. okay, as well. get your shit together and go. Very nice uh, expression in the meaning of hurry up. Uh, hurry up. Yeah. Yes, as very, very, you see, very simple, as simple as that, hurry up. For centuries they have swept across, crag and crevice washing away the last remnants of our enemy. They have swept across crag Crying and crevice. Okay. At the, at the first moment, I was looking at the sentence and I was like, okay, I need a dictionary over yeah. here, right? So, uh, first of all, uh, the word swept. Swept. Yes, yeah, sweep, swept, swept. Sweep. We know the word sweep when we take a broom yeah. and we sweep the house. We know the meaning. But here is not this meaning of no. the word uh, sweep. Sweep. Level C2. To move quickly and powerfully, to travel across all areas, especially when looking for something. It's like more particular meaning for what you've been doing. Instead of saying walking, going, yeah. traveling, sure. you use the word sweep and you already uh, let people know that they've been looking for someone traveling for mm -hmm. a very long time. So they were um, moving very fast along what? Crag, a high, rough mass of rock that sticks out from the land around it. Crevice, a small, narrow crack or space especially in the surface of rock. Remnants is um, the things that are left yeah, yeah, the out, of, uh, out of uh, someone, yes. The remainings, yeah, yes. A small piece of mm -hmm. amount of something that is left, yeah, we are right. We know the, <laughs> the words, okay. So we see Madame Galadriel, mm -hmm. our main uh, warrior. Yes. She uh, finally came uh, home. Came back. Yes. She came back, but uh, with not with the intention to stay. Yeah. Can you tell us, though, what drives her? Because she totally doesn't believe that there's peace. What drives her, we spoke a lot about, is guilt. The elves are incredibly powerful, so when they do things, it has <clears throat> big effects. And mistakes have been made, and those mistakes have led to Gladriel losing her whole family. I also really was interested in the idea that, like, you can't escape your history, and you definitely can't when you were there for the entirety of the history of Middle Earth. Yeah. Must you speak of leaving again so soon? You know very well why I must. There will be ample time later to discuss official matters. There will be ample time. Exactly what time is this? Plenty of time. Like great. enough time. Great, yes. So ample means enough. Yeah. Amazing. Also level C1, more than enough. enough. So instead of saying these three words, yeah. There will be more than enough time, you can say, uh -huh. ample. I want to hear about you. Your harrowing journey. You know, harrowing sounds like heroin. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right? <laughs> what kind of journey she had? I don't know, I want to say scary, but I'm not sure. Scary, yeah? Okay. Extremely Upset. upsetting, connected yes. with so. suffering. Okay, you can say yeah. scary as well, yeah? It can be a heroin story, a heroin journey, agonizing, excruciating, yeah. torturous. Mm -hmm. 
It was not your company who defied you out there, but rather you who defied the High King by refusing to heed any limit placed upon you. Defy? Uh, what her, what the company did? Disagreed, let's say, like... Yes, yeah. they left her. Yeah. They said, enough is enough. We've gone too far. Yes, yeah. we have to go forward. We will disobeyed. Left. You. Yes, disobeyed. Yeah. To refuse disobeyed. to obey a person, to mm -hmm. disobey. Amazing! Okay, so also level C2, guys. Today we have top, top, top. <laughs> The most difficult <laughs> vocabulary ever, but uh, in case you are going for any kind of oral or written exam, especially IELTS, guys, or anything like that, that's the vocabulary for you to remember and use, and that's how you can get the highest score. Mm -hmm. So these kind of uh, movies are super helpful for to enlarge your vocabulary if you don't want to do it in a boring way, just remembering the words. Yes. We're refusing to heed any limit placed upon you. Refuse is to say no, no yes, yes, not to do. You remember heed from the Lord of the Rings? Okay, now I, you see, we've learned the word together. And uh, usually I ask my viewers, uh, like, how was it? How many words do you remember? They said, I remember this and that, and then I don't remember anything else. So that's why I started making shorts to review the vocabulary that uh, we've learned. So that's why, guys, if you just do scroll down your phone and you would like to, re uh, you know, revise to the revise memory, it. you can go through my playlist. The it's called start using it finally yeah, start, using. <laughs> start using it okay and yeah. review the vocabulary because don't be like Kiriakos right now okay so Kiriakos uh, I will right. remi uh, remind you where we learned this word and uh, it will ring a bell if you wanted to say what is this pay no heat I don't know. Okay. I don't know what it was. Maybe okay. Pay no attention to it. Yes. Like that. Great guess. Great guess. So he means oh. to pay attention yeah. to something, especially advice yeah. or warning. Yeah. Pay so attention. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, please <laughs> heed what we are doing over here, so you don't, so you don't forget the words. In an act of magnanimity, he has chosen to honor your accomplishments rather than dwell upon your insolence. Okay, do you understand everything from here? Me neither. <laughs> Okay, kind of. so kind of. So we can guess the meaning, yeah. yes, what exactly he's talking to, but we don't understand 100%. In an act of magnanimity. All right, that's the new word for me. <laughs> magnanimity. Okay. Like an act of generosity, let's say, of being the bigger person. Okay, yes, we That's can say generosity uh, uh, in the act of being kind yeah. when you have the war mm -hmm. and you have the battle and then um, to those whom you trapped or whom you kept, yeah. your enemies, you are not cruel to them. Okay. You are actually behaving okay. as a mercy. human being. Yes, you have the mercy. For, even okay. though they are your enemies, mm -hmm. he has chosen to honor your accomplishments. Honor, we know, mm -hmm. yes, uh, like to appreciation. To appreciate, yeah. Yes, for what you've done, your accomplishments, your achievements, we can say like that, rather than dwell upon your insolence. Dwell on, upon something, level C1, to keep thinking or talking about something, especially something unpleasant or bad. You are upset about something and it it's in your mind and you can't stop thinking about it. Stop dwelling, dwelling on it. Yes, that's the example. Insolence. It's a rude behavior. Uh -huh. That does not show uh, respect. So rather than... It instead of. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we can substitute. Uh, yes. So to understand it, uh, dwell uh, instead of thinking uh, upon um, thinking too much about your um, rudeness, oh, your yes. bad behavior. Yeah, oh, okay. Test him again. You may find him less receptive than you might have hoped. Receptive. Level C2. Willing to listen to and accept new ideas and suggestions. If you go against him again, he might not listen to your new no, ideas or about these uh, <laughs> achievements that you did, that you hope. Okay? So to make it 
simpler this sentence. I love the, you know, the usage of uh, modal verbs. You, yeah. you may find, find him. him. May in the meaning of uh, maybe yes, maybe not. not. Yes, you may find him less receptive that you might, might have, hoped. have hoped. Great English <laughs> grammar, guys. Just the best. I can't help but feel there's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. It's an amazing expression. I like it a lot. Do you know? Did you know it? Yeah. You have no choice except to do sure. something like that. Uh, be unable to do an yeah, yeah, uh, otherwise. You can make an example with that? can help but eating. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I can help but eating. <laughs> yeah, I that's love, what you I love mean. eating. You love eating. Uh, that's why, that was one of the reasons why you became chef. Of course. Yeah? Of course. I think I love eating more than cooking. Still. <laughs> I think most of the of the people are like that. Me too. I like eating more than cooking, that's for sure. But we Harfoots are free from the worries of the wide world. We are but ripples in a long, long stream. In a long stream. Stream is what? Um, oh, you say it. Like, um, a, like a river. <laughs> yes, like, yes. A river. like a river. A stream is a small, a small river. Or, yeah, very, very small one. Yeah. Ripples, yeah, when you throw a, a rock in the lake, for example, the... Yes! The, how the water Amazing. goes. Amazing! He that's knows a, it! <laughs> he knows it, great. Uh, so, we uh, we know that um, on the water we can see waves. Yes. Yes, but waves is the big ripples, let's yeah, say, like let's that. Let's And ripples are uh, the small ones. So for centuries now, these soldiers... You see? Ah, yes. So this, this is the speech yeah. that uh, he was uh, writing for the king. You know, we see that scene where he's literally mouthing the words of the king's speech, yeah, yeah, yeah. which kind of reveals so much about who he is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, he's very proud of, of, of uh, his position. Um, he, but he's ambitious. He wants to serve his kingdom and his king. Um, and at the same time, his friend is here who he loves. His, this legend is here with him. And so it's a really heightened moment and he just wants to get it right. <laughs> These heroes shall be granted an honor unrivaled in all our law. They will be escorted to the Grey Havens. So they will uh, grant an honor. Grant is like given for yeah. free. Yeah. Unrivaled, un unseen, uncontested, let's say. Unmatched. Unmatched. Unrivaled. Having no equal. Better than any other of the same type. The museum boats an unrivaled collection of French porcelain. Okay, in all our lore. lore. So lore it's is... It's like history, let's yes, say. Yes, like it's like folklore. Folklore, yeah. Yeah, so traditional lore. knowledge of stories and subjects. I suppose some part of me always believed my rest would be here. With them. But instead, I am to leave them. I am to leave them. It's when, uh, you remember, there is the meaning of planning for the future. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to do something in the future and it's uh, arranged, you can use this uh, expression. Ah, yes, your mystery sigil. I shared it with the High King. Then why would you? Because seeing a sigil does not mean you're any closer to finding Sauron. It's like a symbol. Yes. Like, uh... A symbol used in magic. After all you have endured, it is only natural to feel conflicted. Conflicted? After all, you, you have endured. All you, you have passed, all you have, that has happened to you, and you have had inside you, let's say. Not really. Endure is uh, more like suffer. Oh, okay. Endure, level B2, to suffer something difficult, unpleasant, or painful. Conflicted. Why she is so angry at this word? So what it means to feel Conf conflicted? Conflict. So we know the word conflict. Yes. Yeah. So conflict. It's like um, argument yeah. in between people. But to feel conflicted. Conflicted. Confused or worried because you cannot choose between very different ideas, feelings, or beliefs, and do not know what to do or believe. For her, it's unacceptable. Like yeah. she doesn't feel conflicted. conflicted. She she's not in the middle she's of cho choosing. Yes, yeah. she made her mind uh, up a long time ago. Yeah. 
Evil does not sleep, Elrond. It waits. And in the moment of our complacency, it blinds us. When we feel that we have everything figured out and we are relaxed, let's say, that's... Some, okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I that uh, everything is done, yeah. we are relaxed. Complacency. A feeling of calm satisfaction with your own abilities or situation that prevents you from trying harder. There's no room for complacency if we want to stay in this competition. If but a whisper of a rumor of the threat you perceive proves true, I will not rest until it is put right. If but a whisper of a rumor. Again, yeah. the word but is used in the meaning of only. only yeah. Yes? So if only whisper is... Uh, Yes, yes, when we talk, really quiet <laughs> yes, um, yes, very quietly. The rumor is uh, like um, an, a little story, yes, yes that appears of the threat you perceive. You remember perceive, perceive. from the Lord of yeah. the Rings when you said it's like to see what's yeah. uh, coming. Yes, what's obvious of the threat that per uh, you perceive that you see. Can be true, I will not rest and I will fight. Put up your sword. Without it, what am I to be? Hmm. Again, what am, am I, I to, to be? be? Yeah? She likes using that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she likes using these <laughs> this expressions. What poisoning? The one we were just discussing? No, 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 no. It was but poison grass. He was twattling about. Again, it was but, but poisoned grass. It was only, only. yes, poisoned grass. He was twattling. Like talking about, mumbling about. Mumbling, yes. So uh, also, I was looking for the word twattle, and it's you see what the dictionary shows me a rare word for twaddle. Twaddle, okay. Yeah, means to talk. foolish talk. Yeah. Say what you wish to say. I have said it already, a hundred times over, in every way but words. In every way but words. Yeah? So he never told her actually yeah. that he liked her, that he has feelings for her, he is fond of her, but he showed it yeah. in different in ways. But here is not used in the meaning of only. Yeah. Yes, in the meaning of except. except except the words today but is the king of the <laughs> of uh, the episode she might have inadvertently kept alive the very evil she sought to defeat she kept it alive inadvertently like she didn't kill it why because in a way that is not intense. intentional like she didn't mean not to kill it maybe she tried to yeah. but the enemy survived yeah sought to defeat sought it's the past tense of the yeah. word seek seek sought sought uh in the meaning of look mm -hmm. for someone yeah are you acquainted with the work of lord calabrimbor the greatest of elven smiths of course yeah we acquainted with something it's an expression is to to know something, no, some, yeah? no, 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 something. Uh, to be familiar yeah. with, with something why do you ask he is about to embark on a new project, one of singular importance. To embark on a new project is uh, to start something a new, journey, uh, yeah. new, yes. Like they're watching for something. Watching for what? You are far too curious and meddlesome to have been born a Harford. You are far too curious. Too curious is um, to look for new information, yes, and meddlesome. This is the new word, yes? Not as uh, easy as curious. Yeah. To meddle with things, to get in, yeah, in the middle of things. Meddlesome. You can also say, interfering. Often getting involved in situation where you are not wanted, especially by criticizing in a damaging or annoying way. Like people don't want you to be here, but you <laughs> still, still want to find out what they are talking about or what they are doing. So as far as I can see, the TV show goes really great. Yeah. Yeah. It catches your eye. You can see a lot of work done behind it. And uh, for me, English 
is oh, amazing, really good, yeah. up, up level that needs uh, a lot of attention. Yeah. And we also watch the videos like us, so we can help you as well in the nice interactive fun way, so you are not alone in your journey of learning something new. All right, so if you enjoyed, please put the like to the video. It will help a lot uh, for me to move on. And like and subscribe. And subscribe, of course. So we wish you a great Day. Great day all right uh move on with your english keep uh, <laughs> searching for the keep new going. vocabulary yes. keep going and see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye, bye, bye. thank you it's been amazing you, you are great at this, this <laughs> <Thank> time <laughs>